Hey guys, so I had talked about doing a why I designed video a couple months ago, like back in February, but life got pretty hectic and I had to put it off for a little bit, but I did not forget this. So I'm here now and I'm ready to answer a few questions that you guys had posted um, in response to my story and just tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I know a lot of you guys follow me on my personal page, but for those of you who, fo who follow my um, brand, I like to s separate my personal life from my brand a lot of the time, but I was thinking I should probably introduce myself and tell you guys a little bit about me for those of you who do not know who I am. Um, so, for one, my name is Daria. And I'm the designer of DMC or DM Collections. And I do everything for this brand as far as the construction process, to social media postings, to meeting up with clients, to um, starting the brand. I'm the owner. I work for my, well, I do everything for this brand. Um, I also have a job on the side. I'm a student um, finishing up college. And yeah, so I'm going to talk about why I like designing and then get into maybe a few more things about um, my brand and answer some of you guys' questions. So what I like about designing is I like how endless fashion is. Um, there are no limits. There are no limits as to what you can design and I just love having no boundaries as to like Like what you can make like It all depends on Your level of skill um, how much you believe in yourself um, What you come up with? I mean there are a few rules as um, there are a few rules for um, Design but they're not really like like written rules as far as the creative aspects go like there there are a few things but um i'm talking about like say you want to make an active wear line out of like like cotton like it, it's going to be kind of hard to do that if your your material isn't stretchy and they won't be able to like get into your active wear clothing without a bunch of zippers and buttons and stuff or whatever. Um, so stuff like that. But as far as um, rules for fashion, like there aren't very many boundaries as to what you can, can create based on your own creativity. Um, so another reason I love fashion and designing um, I use it as a form of expression to um, show the world who I am. I'm very much into um, authenticity and showing people what I'm about, um, just being real with everybody. Um, I'm, I like to show off my sense of individuality. Um, I like standing out from the crowd. Um, and yeah, there are a few other things that I love about designing, um, that I wrote down. So I like how, um, designing is like, it's like a puzzle. Like you have to put together all these pieces in order to create this outfit. And I really like, like, I really like putting all this stuff together, sewing. A lot of people, um... A lot of designers hate sewing and I just don't understand that like I love sewing that's like <laughs> one of the best parts for me honestly um, I love the fashion shows I love um, just seeing everything come together and finally being able to like display your line and everything like it's just it's amazing and it's it's so um, it's so rewarding at the end of the day um, I love being able to teach others how to sew. I love just, I love sharing my 
abilities or my skills with others. Um, it's a way of giving back for me. Right now I work um, as an after school teacher and I've taught a few fashion classes to um, kids before, um, little elementary school kids. I think it's so cute like when they're trying to thread the needle and we're like teaching them how to make clothing and like little stuffed bears and stuff. It's it's such a, it's, it's very rewarding. And I like teaching people of all ages how to sew, whether it be really little kids or like my own peers. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. It's like all giving back. Um, I love people's reactions to my work. Um, it just, I just, I love showing people um, my work and everything. I'm very proud of what I do. Um, I would never like hide my work from others. Um, I love seeing the end results of the things that I create. Um, so what else? There are a lot of things here, but I can't really go through all this in this video or it's going to be a really long video. Um, and I love the creativity. I love the creativity, the collabs, being able to work with different people. Um, it's amazing. So we're going to get into how I want people to feel when wearing my clothes. So my goal for... Um, when people wear my clothes, I want them to feel empowered, confident, and basically like a boss. Um, I want my clothes to always be of quality and to always be different from um, the next store or different from the next designer. Um, if it's not different or something that's a challenge for me to make, it's kind of, I kind of don't like making it, honestly. Like, I could make it. Like, I could make a basic crop top or whatever. But it's just not as exciting to me. And I like having things that um, that are different from the rest of um, the things being sold out there. And what else? Because it, it just, it's just, um, it comes from my mind, my heart, um, it's just, you know, just an alternative to, you know, um, so my inspiration, my inspiration behind, um, my designs are primarily royalty. I'm really into royalty, um, regal wear, classy, you know, elegance. Um, I love nature. I'm really into um, to just hanging out in nature, going to national parks with my family. Um, that's cool. Um, I'm inspired by the shapes of the leaves and like it's just all art to me. Like nature is art. Um, I love music beats. Um, I listen to a lot of dance music. Um, some people may think it's weird is because like not, um, I mean, some of it is mainstream, but, um, the beats and the music, they, they like inspire me in a way. Like it, it's just, it's like how you, when you think of, I don't know how to explain it. it it's like, you know, you guys don't know, <laughs> but, um, we're going to get into some of the questions. So obstacles. So what are my obstacles or challenges that I faced when I've, um, throughout like my whole design, um, time designing. So for one, I've been designing clothing since 2011. Um, I learned how to sew in my first year of high school. Um, but I, I was sketching clothing from, um, my eighth grade year, um, of middle school <laughs> or eighth grade. Um, and I'd say that the biggest obstacles I faced were in my first year of, um, sewing. 
So when I was in, when I was in um, my fashion class back then, I was also like really ambitious student. I was eager to jump into finally learning how to sew. I had been wanting to learn how to sew from the time I was seven or eight. I had been begging my parents to get me a sewing machine. Um, nobody knew where this came from because nobody else in my family can sew. Um, but they had seen that I liked clothes since I was like two, um, even more so than toys. So um, finally took my first sewing class in my freshman year of high school. And I decided I wanted to, for my first outfit, for my first or second outfit that I had made in that class, I wanted to make a jacket and not just a regular jacket. I wanted to make a satin jacket. So if you guys don't know, um, like the qualities, the characteristics, I guess, of satin, satin is extremely, um, slippery. It moves a lot. Um, it's hard to work with, um, uh, for those of you um, who, who've never worked with satin. It's very hard to work with. Um, you have to pin it a lot, um, in order for it to stay in place. So me as a beginner sewer decided to get satin from the store and try to make a satin jacket. And, um, I mean, I sewed it, but then when I showed it to my instructor, she told me she she didn't like it. It wasn't good enough. And she threw it back at me and she told she took it apart for one, threw it back at me, told me to to do it again. Did it a second time. She didn't like it again. Didn't turn out well. Um, third time, um, there are certain things on it that she didn't like and I used the wrong color um thread. <laughs> and she told me that I wouldn't be showing anything in the fashion show at the end of that class, which we had to display all our work to our school. So I didn't show anything and I was just a model for the show. And that was really this discouraging. Um, but I took some more fashion classes and now my instructors, my instructor is my mentor and everything. Um, I sewed throughout my whole high school career and just progress like really rapidly with time because I started sewing on my own time and just putting myself up to challenges. Like you, you have to challenge yourself in order to progress in anything that you do. And I was just always up for the challenge and I'm still challenging myself to this day. Like if it's not difficult in some way or if I'm not struggling a little bit when I'm making something, it's not hard enough as far as um, designing goes for me. That's just that's just me. Um, but yeah, next question is, what are the, what are my favorite fabrics to use? So, um, I'd say my favorite fabrics, um, one, I love jacquard. Jacquard is like a, is like a satin type of fabric. It's not satin, but it's shiny like satin. And then it has a bunch of like Asian prints and details, um, on it. I think it's really like, it's really has a nice little um, elegant vibe to it in a way. Like you can do a lot with it. You can, it makes, it would make an outfit pop, definitely. Um, I love prints, any types of prints. Um, and just, I love, I love working with different fabrics, honestly. Like, but I'd say, I've really gotten into upholstery, using upholstery fabric to make um, coats. And um, I just like it more than the knit. I just feel like it's more versatile. And um, I actually have some upholstery fabric that I used for my last collection right here. This is the back, this is the front. And both the front and the back are very, like, I like both sides. So I I made a jacket with using one side and then <laughs> another one with this side. Um, yeah. So, oh, other fabrics I like. 
Um, I love poly cotton blends. Poly cotton blends are just, I like how durable they are. Um, I just, I love quality fabrics. Like quality is the main thing I look for when I'm sourcing fabrics because <sighs> I just, I look for fabrics that, that um, don't cost too much. Like, I generally don't spend too much on fabrics, but fabric is expensive for the most part, even if you're not spending that much because you have to buy yards and they sell um, by the yard. So, um, but I always look for durability. And once I, once I touch the fabric, I can tell like how like, is it of quality? Like, is it just, you know, um, and then another fabric I like working with, I like work, working with just polyester in general. I like polyester. It's cool. But yeah, there are a lot of other things that I would talk about, um, in this video, but we are at like over 16 minutes. So I'm just gonna like make another video later on, um, to, talk about some more things but yeah I hope you guys liked this video and thank you for watching and see you next time I'm gonna start making more videos and hopefully posting on YouTube doing fashion tutorials um, yeah all right bye guys